I have got an incredible toy to share with you guys today. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I thought I would show you guys a awesome find that we picked up at the PX a long time ago for a great deal. But it is a toy that I wish I grew up with, and if you guys are able to afford it for yourself, it is worth getting in my opinion. The product is a Melissa and Doug product, and the only things that it really came with was like the frame itself, this little insert, and I want to say this credit card was the only other like removable piece. Everything else was something I either bought or was a gift to Aubrey. For example, this little shopping cart with a little coffee drink was a gift to Aubrey for Christmas from my parents and it came with like a bunch of food so that food has found its place over here. I also picked up these baskets which are in my opinion really great quality from the Dollar Tree and they fit perfectly on this little ledge here. You probably could fit one horizontal and then recently I actually found the taller version of those baskets which fit perfectly on this vertical little shelving system over here. Now for the sake of this video, I organized this probably not as neatly as I organized it originally because we didn't have baskets. I had lined everything up, but as you may know, if you have children, that doesn't last very long. And so that's why I just invested in these baskets. Like I said, I organized this today so all the vegetables go in here, but for easy cleanup, we just kind of dump everything in the baskets it's nice and hidden, but it still looks pretty organized. It's also cute because it has this little like fridge section. And I guess I forgot to mention these things also came with the kit. They are removable, so you can detach these if you don't want them. And a lot of these ones are double-sided. So this is like the rare one that doesn't have something on the other side, but you can kind of mix and match and see what you want where you want it. So for example, I just removed the fruit one, but on the other side you have bakery and bread. So if you wanted both of these out and you know visible, you gotta pick one and just roll with it. <laughs> now this door has actually come off pretty easily. It just kind of pops in. So if your kiddos are rough with it, it still can be fixed. We always just put it back on and fix the problem. And then one of the things that I absolutely love is this little conveyor belt. It has like a little turning thing right here. So the kids can turn it and bring all the food to the front and it is ready for checkout time, which is Again, one of the cutest things about this little setup. So the first thing you wanna make sure you do if you wanna use this is make sure it's turned on. Aubrey has learned to press this button for herself, so two-year-olds can handle this. And then you just gotta drag this over the little clear thing right there, and it makes a cute little beep, it lights up. And then there is a bag for, not a bag, but a bag holder that they can go ahead and drop their groceries in, and Aubrey loves using that too. There's a little drawer. None of this stuff came with it. I bought these guys from the Dollar Tree. That's what that little blue thing was holding, some extra cash. And then I even like to save like old gift cards that are empty and just kind of throw this in there in case people want to pretend that it is a gift card for the grocery store. When checking out, people can either insert their chip or slide their card and then sign their name using this little pen system. I forget what it's called and erase it by going back and forth. It doesn't really do a good job at erasing in one swipe, but it does get the job done after a couple. The only thing I really feel like this little setup is missing is one of those little like intercom systems. So like the, you know, the kiddos could use it and like it would announce their voice just a little bit louder, but not too loud. Maybe Melissa and Doug company was looking out for parents on that one, but that is something that I feel like is missing and would be a great addition to this little game setup thing. Uh, they also have other things that they sell that like accompany this grocery setup. They have something that where I think you can put like magazines in or like, you know, that's those fake impulse buys. And when you're at checkout, they do have a little additional thing that they sell, which we did not buy, but that is also an option. And then on the other side of this little sign here, let me show you, is for like the checkout. It has little prices and stuff like that. And it is just something that the kiddos can reference if they are good at punching in the numbers on the calculator on the cashier's side. And then this thing came with a little pamphlet on 
kind of like how to use it or the additional products. But they on the back, they have like little create your coupons. So you can teach your kids on how to save money via couponing. Now, like I mentioned, I kind of tidied this up for the purpose of showing you guys this contraption, but I did take some footage a while ago of me playing with Aubrey, so I will insert that here. Hi! Hi, you, mommy. Hi. You're doing a great job, Aubrey. I found that donut. You, you found a donut. I think you're charging me a little extra. It's soda. It is soda. Can you turn the little conveyor belt? Good job. Yeah. Now it's easy to reach. I found a well, well donut. You did. Oh, can I Mm hmm. Thank you. You're my favorite cashier. Now, what do you say? Thank you so much and say have a good day. Oh, okay. Two. Okay, say have a great day. Say thank you, come again. Are you going to make me pay? Let me sign my name, okay? Okay. Yay. All done. One money, one money, that coin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one money, that coin. And one money, that coin. Wow, I got 50 bucks. Here you go. What is that? A coin. What kind of cashier takes a lick of my ice cream cone? Hmm. Is it delicious? Mm -hmm. You want the sprinkles? We need to go buy them first. I've seen these things go online I want to say for around like $150 just like the bare minimum which is what we bought but we got it on sale at the PX which is like a store um, like in military bases for $50 and so because we got such a great deal uh, we also picked up a another one which hasn't been set up yet and I will set it up and show you guys in another video probably when we move into our own home but it is a little like mini restaurant and cooking station so half of it is like the cook station and the other side is a little dining area so it's super cute and we got that one for fifty dollars as well so we got it for a steal it was it was a great deal um but if you guys have coupons to save money for yourself and you can get this i'm gonna like i this is something I wish I had as a kid. I would have loved this. And sometimes what I try to do with Aubrey is like if she wants a treat or something, I'm like, well, we need to go buy it first. And so we utilize this to kind of reinforce, like we can't always just like take what we want. There's usually a process in actually getting it. So it's also a little learning situation for the little ones. And during COVID, it's actually a really great time to introduce them to normal life without actually being in normal life. 
I should also mention that we are planning, or at least I am planning, on using both this one and the restaurant one like in combo or in coordination with each other. So I plan on playing with her and sending Aubrey like to the store for ingredients and giving her little list that I'll make in the, a future video. And then, you know, she'll go to the store, she'll pick up the ingredients, we'll go back to the restaurant and make our little dishes so that she really sees the process of kind of how real life goes, you know, like the stores just don't magically have the food, they have to go buy them and then they can make the, you know, the dishes at the restaurant. So I do plan on having both of these set up eventually near each other so that we can use them in combo with each other. Well, anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content. And I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.